Well, look, the big difference about an attempt like this, and no one's really talked about it when I speak with the athletes, is, is it's, it, it's not a, a true racing environment in the sense that you usually have a hundred other professionals you're competing against and you tend to, to build your race around the flow of the event as it's, it's occurring. This is a, a, a semi-solo attempt whilst the athletes are racing another athlete. It's very much from the onset going to be lonely in the swim. There's not five or six hundred other athletes around you that you can, you can pace off. It's going to be a very, very lonely bike ride. Most of the athletes are used to being in groups for at least the first four hours of racing and before they start to apply the pressure. Now, now that's all going to fall on, on them and their teams to, to assist in that pace. And they have to really know the pace, know the know where they want to go because they're controlling everything that's happening around and they're asking their teams to move quicker, the pace to be set faster because it's, it's up to them. But when they step off that bike after these times, and I know when I've pursued world records and tried to get that margin of error on the bike, I always tried to, to set my world record attempt up with big bike rides. Those first few miles of the marathon are very, very difficult. And, and you know, the physical part we always like to talk about, but it's the mental, you know, you, you always ask yourself as an athlete, am I having one of those good days? You know, this, these insecurities bubble up when you start to suffer, when you're, when you're under duress. And, and those insecurities are the things that shape your day. And, you know, when you take those first few steps and you have to run a 2.30 marathon, which we're asking the men to do, or the fastest marathon ever delivered in an iron distance race, we're asking the women to do, it's, it's building that confidence with, with bad legs early in a marathon because you don't have the luxury of, of finding your pace. You let the event come to you when you're trying to, trying to take a, a, a place or win it. But when you're going after a time, you have to make the event and make the time. And that's a completely different mindset and a very, very uncomfortable way of racing.